Hey guys, it's Darwin here with a full gear review of the Knock Vertex Carbon Cork Trekking Pole. So as most of you might know, not too long ago, I picked up a pair of the Black Diamond Ergo Carbon Cork Trekking Poles. And I've been loving them. My plan was to take them out on the PCT with me next year, and I've used them a lot. I recently did a review, and if you want to check that out, I'll put it up here. But a couple weeks ago when I was at PCT Days in Cascade Locks, Oregon, I actually ran into a company called Knock. Now, Knock is making a ton of really awesome new products. I got a chance to talk with their owner and founder, Gilad, and he turned me on to a really awesome new trekking pole. It's called the Vertex Carbon Cork Trekking Pole. Now, it is a Z-type trekking pole, so that means it has three different sections, but it's not a fixed length Z-pole because it also has an adjustable length, which is really awesome. One of the reasons I never used to like the Z-Poles is pretty much they were just kind of set to whatever you wanted to set them to. But this is a really cool option because it does allow you to adjust it. So somebody like me that uses a trekking pole tent, I can actually use something like a Z-Pole. I've been using them for almost every single day since I got back from PCT Trail Days. So about two weeks, almost every day of hiking with them. And I absolutely love them so far. And I'm actually considering not using my black diamond poles next year and instead using these guys. Now I can sit here and tell you how much I love them and show them to you, but let's go over the specs. First off, the Vertex Carbon Cork are 14 and a half inches long when they're collapsed. So they're really nice because if you don't always use trekking poles, they're a lot smaller to where you can put them in the side pockets on your pack for storage. You can adjust the pole length from 45 inches all the way up to 53 inches. So like I said before, they're great if you're using a trekking pole tent because you can adjust them to the length that you need whenever you're using them while hiking. But whenever you get to camp and you set your tent up, you usually have to extend them much more so it allows you to do that. All three sections of the pole are made out of 100% carbon and the hardware is made out of aluminum and plastic. So the small little connectors are actually made out of aluminum, and then the only plastic is the top of the handle, and then the actual quick lock, which as you guys know from my past videos, I love the quick lock on a trekking pole. I cannot stand barrel locks. Now, when you extend the pole out, it has a small push button connector, and they go together on the fly really quick just by pulling that top pole down. It has an all cork handle, so it's really great for absorbing sweat and not giving you so many blisters in your hand. And it has an EVA foam grip under that cork handle that's really great for when you're climbing so you can get a little bit deeper onto the pole. Now, if you're not into the cork handle, they also make a foam version of the pole, but I don't know why you wouldn't want the cork handle. Now each trekking pole comes in at only 7.8 ounces a piece, which is actually lighter than my black diamond carbon poles. And the whole set is actually under a pound, only being 15.6 ounces, which is pretty phenomenal. Now when you get the Vertex carbon cork or any of the knock poles, they do come with a small carrying case, a snow basket, a mud basket, and rubber tips to be able to put on the bottom if you're walking on pavement or concrete. And then one of the best things about the knock poles are they are so much cheaper than the black diamonds. And a pair of the carbon cork handles is gonna run you only $69 over on Amazon. So if you guys wanna check these out or any of the other knock poles, I'll put a link in the description box below. Like I said, I'm thinking about trading out my black diamond poles for these guys for my PCT through hike next year. And I'll definitely be taking these on my section hike of the Arizona Trail next month to really beat the crap out of them and put a lot of wear on them. And I'll give you guys an update on how they last in the long run. If you haven't had a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures from some past hikes. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always guys, thanks for watching.